Hello there ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages, my name is Coaster Chal and welcome to Coaster Chal YouTube channel. <laughs> Hello there ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages, Coaster Chal here, Don Gasner Born Bob, built for theme parks, and welcome to a theme park newsroom update, where today we're going to be talking about Alton Towers Resort, because Alton Towers... Um, are, have officially unveiled three brand new attractions for CBeebies Land for the 2022 season. Now, before we get started in talking in detail about all of them, make sure you do like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you don't miss YouTube video. Subscribe if you are new around here as well. Also, check the description down below for social media links and the Google Forms link where you behind the camera can submit your own video ideas. And for now, guys, let's have a look at exactly what's going on in CBeebies Land for next year at Alton Town. So we have three brand new attractions. First up, Hey Dougie's Big Adventure Badge. Climb, slide, and bounce your way through our playing adventure land. Meet Hey Dougie and collect your Big Adventure Badge. So obviously, from the sounds of it, this sounds like a re-theme or a restructuring of the old Tree Food Tom Training Camp playground. Now, of course, for those of you who need a little bit of context, we know that Tree Food Tom has been slightly deconstructed. We know that Mr. Bloom's allotment was rumoured to have not been operating at all and is in fact closed and Charlie and Lola is being uh, rebuilt and reconstructed for next year and refurbished so those are three individual sites that we know are getting some that we pretty much know are all but confirmed to be getting some work done two at least two of them are confirmed to be getting some work done Mr Bloom's allotment was rumoured but we we don't know for certain yet but it certainly hints like Mr Bloom's allotment is going as well so so it looks like True Food Tom is being rethemed into Hey Dougie's Big Adventure Badge. Now the next attraction is Andy's Adventures Dinosaur Dig. Immerse yourself in prehistoric sights and sounds and see what you can dig and discover in this live interactive show. This sounds like it's going where Charlie and Lola once stood. However, with this saying it's a live interactive show... This hints towards the Nina Science Lab building because of the size of it compared to Charlie and Lola. I wouldn't be surprised. I really wouldn't. Um, and especially with Nina Science... I'm not saying you couldn't do this with Charlie and Lola, but especially with um, Nina Science Lab, what you could do is intera interact the audience in like sounds and things like that. So, and, it, and if you think about it, they could just tear down Mr. Bloom's allotment and expand the playground. So... You know, it, it, with, the, with the Hey Dougie one, you can expand the playground into that area. With this one, for example, you can have this in a building, have the sounds going off, be part of the exploration, dig for dinosaur bones, and be a part of the adventure. So, it, it, it's, it's still a mystery surrounding that one. I, I'm sort of 50-50 with a few sites with that one. But finally then, we've got Jojo and Gran at home. Let your curiosity run wild as you explore Grand Grand's house. This sounds like Charlie and Lola's site. This absolutely sounds like Charlie and Lola's site. Which does make me think that, um, you know, Andy's Adventures Dinosaur Day will probably go into a Nina Science Lab building or it will go into that Mr. Bloom allotment site as an outdoor attraction. And they're just going to use some outdoor speakers. But Jojo and Gran at home. Gra Jojo and Grand Gran at home. Um... Uh, that definitely looks to be an interactive walkthrough um, in the old Charlie and Lola Moon Squirts and Dr uh, Green Drops building. Um, so yeah, uh, I think that's just going to be uh, walking around the house, exploring the house, animatronics a couple of times, you know, the usual, you know, this, this and that. So I think this is going to be a nice interactive walkthrough attraction. And I think it's going to operate the same way as what... Um, like Peppa Pig World at Paltons Park, where you sort of walk in and you go and see Peppa Pig's house. I think it's just a simple walk in and walk out with this one and walk through. So 
I think it's one of those just walk around the animatronics, kind of walk through attractions. So I think that's uh, a pretty good way of, of doing it. It'd be interesting to see how it looks on the way inside. Now that isn't all coming for 2022. The Bing Rooms will be landing at the CBB's Land Hotel. Bingsters will be able to enjoy the ultimate sleepover in Bing themed rooms coming to the CBB's Land Hotel. So obviously there's a lot of things going on for 2022. Is that all that's going to happen for 2022? I, to be perfectly honest with you, there's a few reasons why it could be. There's a re few reasons why it can't be. But let's have a look at my thoughts on the brand new attractions for Alton Towers. There we are, ladies and gentlemen, Thrill Six of All Ages. That is speaking about the brand new attractions for 2022 at the Alton Towers Resort in CBB's Land. Now, I've not been in CBB's Land for years let's let's face it years um i not gonna lie as a reviewer of theme parks as a professional critic of theme parks would like to experience these attractions not gonna lie to you because the potential for these attractions could be amazing for the family market hey dougie's Ad uh, adventure club badge whatever it's called um you know, I think that I think if you, what they could do is, if they're not going to use the Mr. Bloom allotment site and the dinosaur dig will be in an indoor building, then they can just use that site and expand with some more playground equipment. It looks like it's just going to be a simple retheme, and they took down a couple of the play equipment, but not a lot. So it kind of hints towards a retheme at the start, really. Um, but I think the dinosaur dig will be happening in the Mr. Bloom allotment site. I could be wrong. It could be inside a building, like in the science lab, for example. Or, uh, but um, yeah, I think dinosaur dig will be happening outdoors with the um, with the Mr. Bloom allotment site. And then finally, you've got Jojo and Grand Grand's house, which is going to be inside Charlie and Lola. We can pretty much guess that. Um, this is the thing with me now, though. You've got Andy's dinosaur dig next door to a Hey Dougie adventure club badge playground yes they got similar themes but it's completely different categories you know adventure and dinosaurs i just don't want the dinosaur sounds if the hey dougie's got nothing to do with dinosaurs i just don't want there to be a clash of sounds if you get what i mean and this one of for me the disadvantages if it's going to be in the Miss boom allotment site is you're going to have if you don't do it properly, you're going to have a clash of sounds. So you're going to hear the dinosaur speakers from the Hey Dougie area, which might not be a bad thing. But, um, you know, I, I like to have simple, fluent transitions between different attractions in the same area. So, it'd be interesting to see how they're structured, interesting to see how they're laid out. But, um, overall, I think they're going to be decent attractions. It's nice to see Andy coming in. It's nice to see Hey Dougie coming in. It's nice to see Jojo and Grand Grand coming in. Three popular brands that are currently on screen right now on CBBs as far as I'm aware um, so it's nice to see the current programming being brought into CBBs land to refresh the area keep it updated um, so yeah all good from Alton Towers Resort big big thumbs up on me now is this all we're gonna see for 2022 oh hell it's not because um, there's still a lot of unanswered questions is the Retro Squad going to come back? What events are they going to do this year, for next year? Is there any other attractions being refurbished? You know, they've still got the Williams World to expand. Uh, there's still an unclear future about the driving school. Is it being relocated somewhere? Is it staying as it is and getting rethemed? We do not know. I've got a feeling it might not be it. But uh, we'll see what happens. But there we are, guys. Thank you very, very much for watching this video. Make sure you do like the video if you loved it. And comment down below your thoughts and opinions. And for now, guys, my name is Coach Shell. Kill on the Coast Life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a CBBs. Fantastic day. Keep your head back. Hold on tight. You must escape.